Hi everyone, Dr. Melissa here, and today I have two very special guests joining me to dish out their top secrets on healthy aging and staying active and fit. They are my grandparents. They are both in their 70s, but shh, I didn't tell you that. They both still downhill ski, kayak, go hiking, biking. My grandmother still jogs and they both golf. I can only hope to be as active as they are as I get older. So let's find out what their top tips are. Let's do this. What's your favorite activity? Mm. My favorite activity. I don't have one. I have a lot. In the winter, I love skiing and snowshoeing. I love running in the winter better than summer. Um, this time of year, love kayaking, biking, and golf. Biking, kayaking, skiing, swimming. Grampy, what three things do you attribute to helping you age gracefully? The three things I attribute to aging actively would be one, starting early. I think the formative years your younger years are when you develop habits and if you're inactive as a young person chances are you'll be inactive as an older person. A uh, leopard does not change its spots. Activity theory would be um, what I would tell people um, to age um, positively I really believe in activity theory, meaning don't stop. Just keep going. And even if you have to reduce your run or your bike ride, so keeping active. Two, I think you need to incorporate activity into your lifestyle. It's important to make time and room for activity but it has to be an integral part and an important part of your lifestyle. Otherwise, you can find all kinds of excuses not to do it. You have to make an exercise program and healthy living a priority. And when I hear people say, I just don't have enough time, I say, of course you have enough time. You just have to put it in to the routine of your daily life. So, no excuses. Sorry, priority. <laughs> Physiologically, the body requires nourishment and it requires activity or exercise. We all find time to eat, so we should all be able to find time to exercise. Four hour round of golf, or it could involve 20 minutes to a half an hour working out at home with weights and rubber bands but you can always fit some exercise into all lifestyles keeping an exercise program going every single day when i worked full-time in corporate it was really hard i'd come home at night and try to get the wash in the dinner in and jane fonda in jane fonda and you know her little tights and everything I used to come home from work and do those tapes. And then three, I think it's important to find activities that you enjoy. It's always difficult to motivate yourself to get up and do active things, but it's a lot easier to do that if what you're going to be doing is something you enjoy. As I was younger, I was more involved with organized sports such as tennis, handball, racquetball. Uh, that more or less evolved because of my work, which was very time sensitive, to being able to do things more or less on the spur of the moment, so that I prefer now doing things that I can just decide to do, go out on my own, and do them anytime I want. 
I like biking, I like kayaking, I like skiing. I find that with those sports, you can either push yourself and get an extreme workout, uh, which you have control over. If you're in competitive sports, it's difficult to back down. But if it's me trying to ride 30 miles in an hour and I don't make it, I can just back off and smile and nobody else knows. It's me and my, against myself. The other thing I like about those sports are that you can use them socially. You can do it with people of different ages. You can do it socially by going on active vacations, going to different parts of the world, sightseeing, and you can see a lot more, say, on a bike or skiing in different resorts and still, you know, get your exercise, but get your travel and entertainment in all in one fell swoop. <laughs> Have your activities changed over the years? Well, there's been many years of activity. And I will say, um, as an example, um, my running, I used to run 30 minutes, and now I'll run 20 and then walk 10. Does what you eat play a part in how you feel and activity level? What you eat is very important for everything, let alone activity. Um, you have to concentrate and eat a balanced diet, uh, which is not easy to do, but with a little bit of effort you can. I also think that as important as a balanced diet are portions. I think you should be moderate in the amount of food that you consume. You should, I personally never leave the table full. Um, if you overeat even healthy food, it's not good for you. Nutrition is so important. And um, I even find sometimes if maybe I go out for a run and a walk and maybe I haven't had enough water or juice or something, I feel it. So I know nutrition is, it helps run our little furnace, which is our body. What is the secret sauce to tire my grandkids out? Well, it depends on, are they little kids or are they young adults? Most of our grandkids, all but our great-grandchild, are young adults. And I guess I would say, Tell them to party the night before hard. That's probably the only thing. <laughs> I do not believe there is a secret sauce. I think that intergenerational activities, it's very important to do things that everyone is interested in doing and everybody has fun doing. If you want to try to level the playing field a little bit, it doesn't hurt to pick activities that you're familiar with and are involved with, and maybe the younger generation doesn't do quite as often as you do, so that it should level the playing field and you can all have fun. Grumpy, for, for those of us that are curious, please inform us of how many years young you are. 79. My why? I want to keep up with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and to keep healthy. Yes. Be, being a therapist, I always tell my clients it's so important to have common interest. And you have common interest. And with us, we definitely have our family, our friends, our sports, our workout. We love to travel. But then we're independent. And I feel that's why we really do have a pretty good life together. And we've almost been married 40 years. Almost. <laughs> well, we're going to make it. Thank you, Marnie and Grampy, for being the ideal active grandparents that kick our butts every single time, whether it's riding bikes, kayaking, 
or golfing or skiing. <laughs> God, heaven forbid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a part of this and we love you. That's a wrap. Thank you. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>